All right, if you have a uh, eTalk flip phone, and in my daughter's case, you have uh, forgotten the password for the phone, the only way to get back into the phone is hard resetting it. And that's difficult because you don't know the password. So this method will get you back into your phone. You will lose your data in the phone, but you'll have a working phone again, uh, which isn't a big deal. You'll just put your contacts back in here. To do this, you your phone needs to be off and you are going to hold the up volume button over here and the power at the same time. So just like that, you'll feel it vibrate slightly. You'll see the menu come on. If you get to a different type of menu, it's not a big deal. You can start that process over again, but you wanna to get to this menu that says no command. When you're in the no command menu, you are going to have to hit this up button over here and the power button at the same exact time. So I'm gonna to attempt to do it with one hand, which is a little tricky. I'm hitting both of them at the same time. And I'm trying it a couple of times. I don't wanna hold it too long because I will reset the entire, I, you'll start back where you started, but, and that's not really something I wanna do. Um, but if you're successful, you notice I held it for like two, three seconds and then I get to this menu. Um, like I said, it's not a big deal if you accidentally shut down the phone again, you just start again. Um, so you'll see once you're in here, you get this really nice menu and you are going to factory set your phone. When you factory set your phone, I'm not going to do that here, um, but it's going to take it back to factory settings. It's going to contact uh, Verizon, your phone company, and just do a check, and then you'll be at your stock settings uh, to show you what your stock settings look like. I'm gonna just power off this menu. And I'm gonna turn back the phone. So like I said, if, if, if none of what I said kind of works, you can always start again by just holding, holding this down for a long time and restarting, but um, It does work. So yeah, it'll give you, I've already had to reset it. And this will take you a, a very long time when you're starting again. But if you've already registered with Verizon, it's really not a big deal. So uh, she has her working phone again and I recommend she does not use a password because you know, now we've got the stock um thing again so so that's it just to recap turn your phone off these two buttons at the same time get into the menu it'll say no command and then these these two for a few seconds until you get in the second menu and that's it hopefully this helps good luck everybody